right under my feet you can see not I can't see a, a road of ants going across but I can see ants because over there I've just taken some pictures is a massive ant hill I'm not even going to walk through the over there to it because they'll have guards out they'll have guards out I don't know if I can get right in to see any cr anything crawling but that is built It's built by ants. That's the ant city. And this path I'm on now, this is what I would have come up. If I carried on through the Holford Coombe earlier, this is the ladies' path, or whatever they call it. I would have come up through here. And there'd be ants crawling all the way towards... All the ants you see crawling at the moment, because I can't see many ant hills. But take care before you walk. There's one there, look. I spotted that one earlier as well. But I'm not going to even walk towards it because I tell you what, they could send out some biters. But if you look on the floor, if you look closely, you'll see an ant. Maybe not all the time. But if you walk through there, you could be in danger of, of being attacked by ants. Yeah, so this path would have been the one I would have come along, but I wanted to come up and along the top. That was my plan. And there we go. Take another picture of that. I know you're nearly out of battery, Sheila. Just take that while it's shining. Right, let me turn off a minute. Let me just go in again. Oh, the battery's gone on the... Um... Yeah, that's one big anthill. I don't know whether the camera will let me just quickly take another photo. I'm going to have to get the battery charger out already. Just trying to get in a bit more so that um so and then perhaps here. You're going to get, you're going to have to get your, um, right, before I turn off, look, there's one there, quite close. I didn't see, I was so concentrating on the one up there, that there's one quite close here, and it's crawling with ants. I've got to wash out, because I could get bitten. That, that ant hill there, I don't know if you can see, but it's crawling. If it come out, it's craw absolutely crawling. Yeah, carrying leaves and everything, and they'll all be down here under my feet if I'm not careful. And saying, Watch out, we've got an intruder. Right, I've got to change a battery on the um, Kodak a minute. That's fascinating. All right, we're still in Dalesbury Hill for, for a bit longer. Like I said in the past, I've got, I've got videos on YouTube where you can see me going all the way around different areas of the Vallums and defence structures of the fort. Um, and it is online. It's such quiet. Try and see if you can hear anything. No wind, nothing. Just me. The odd bee. Very quiet. 
we have to go on a road for a short period of time. Um, when we leave the, the hill for it. It's only a little road, it's only a little road. A lot of people drive up here, see? They drive up at the car park where you can get an ice cream. <laughs> they sit in the car and have a picnic. It's the sort of thing you do when you're older, I think, or you've got kids and you, you, you just want a little roam. It's a good idea. It does allow people to come out here. But it doesn't if you haven't got any transport. Awful lot of people are denied access here. Because, for example, I used to have to get a train and a bus to get out on the hills when I didn't have a vehicle. And if you live in Bridgewater and you haven't got a vehicle, you'd have to do the same. You'd have to get a train and a bus. I've walked up there before now. That's another way around I've done. I've been all the way up there. And if you go further up there, you also come to a route that leads you to Nether Stowey, where Samuel Coleridge lived. And Samuel Coleridge and Wordsworth used to walk all around here. They know this fort. They knew this fort. Okay. What we do, if you feel lost, just keep following the route. You'll eventually you'll find the road. And don't wander off, you know, don't think, oh, I'll go all the way up there or anything. But look at the scene, look at that lovely, lovely, beautiful scene there. I've never ceased to be amazed, you know, when I'm out. It doesn't always come out like I take it, though. Do you know what I mean? I'm taking a picture and I think, oh, it didn't come out like I saw it. Morning. It's lovely. still morning, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Lovely day, isn't it? Isn't it lovely today? Oh, I feel so good. Yeah. Yeah. Plenty. It's just the right weather. I can see some blue flags. I can hear a road as well. I, I can see the blue flags. There must be some sort of walk or mountain bike event going on. I can hear a road. What I'm doing, because I've forgotten. Every time I come here, I forget where the road is. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. Every single time I come, I forget. So I just keep going. Do you? Yeah. The road is sort of down there, if you like. What's that say? What's that say? I don't know, but anyway, whatever it is, they're going round the hill for it. All these different structures, see, going round the hill for it. These ditches. We just carry on our track here. I always forget that there's a periods of time where I always forget where I am. You know, I, I always come out of it, don't worry about that. But there's a period of time I think, oh, is that the road up there? I think I can see the road. And then I think, oh, that isn't the road. I don't particularly want to go on the road because this, this is so beautiful. See, there's a track down there. That'll take you down. If you followed that, if you followed that track there, that would take you down to the Coombs as well. That would probably take you out to a road. And then you've just got the glistening of the blueberries still. Yeah, the road's there. I can see it. And, of course, when I'm here, like I said, I can feel my sister. I know that I was told that she was scattered up Crocombe Way. They never told me where, though, for some strange reason. I've never been told. They probably don't want me putting it on Facebook. And I wouldn't. If they all they had to say, don't put it, please don't put it on Facebook, Sheila. Yeah, but how awful is that? It's like um, her having a gravestone and they're not going to tell me where she is. Funny people I've got in my family. Have you? Yeah. Something I found out the other day, which I might have known and forgot, was that over at our Fox and House on the Quantops, where I go and I know very well, and I've even seen that tree, there's one of the second largest 
oak trees, big oak trees in the in England. It's 900 years old apparently, but I think there's some. I thought there were some that were 3,000 years old. There's lots and lots of pathways up here. I've not really explored this side very much over there yet. I've never, I've always liked the, the bits I've just done. That tends to take you eventually into more cultivated, piney type places. Um, now it depends if you want to walk on the road, you just want to carry on the track. Yeah, there are like sort of landscaped areas here. It's called Long. It's it's called Greatwood, and it's like sec it's in sections, a bit like um, Stockton Wood over Pretty Way. It's um, sort of cultivated pine trees. Uh, I have done some of it. I did an orienteering day over there once years ago with two of my kids, and. Uh, it's, it's very, it, it, you know, you can all, you never, you'll never get lost. This is gorgeous, though, isn't it, everyone? That's the hell fort back there. We're leaving it now. We've walked through it. We've been to the t near to the top. And for many of my walks, you can see it. I always point it out. I always point it out when I'm on the far side. I'll say there's Dowsborough Hill Fort. And if you look it up, it is sometimes spelt different ways. I um, I think the way I spell it is with a W, Dowsborough. Now, if, what you've got to be careful of now, where I am now, why I tend to go back over on the road in a minute, is because you can end up wandering all in and out of here, and then you the road gets further away and you don't get to Crocombe where the um, car park is, which is where I want to pick up other tracks. Okay, so I'm keeping over here. Otherwise you can literally go in deep into a wood here. I'm not saying you'll get lost, you'll come out at Frog's Coombe or somewhere like that. <sighs> But it's a road. Some people do use it as a rat run, by the way. So be alert. It's just it's a quiet road. Be alert. Some people go from one side of the Quantox to the other and they use it as a rat run. You have to be a, keep your ears peeled. Is it your ears peeled or eyes peeled? I don't know, one of them. Keep your ears open, ears. Right, I'm going to turn off for a minute. I'll come on when I'm further up and off the road.